Good morning. It's a lovely day. The legs are feeling okay, so let's give it a shot. Cheers. The sun is shining, I feel great, my butt hurt a bit. Ready for the last day of this trip. Cheers. Incredible place, incredible. That was a bit sketchy to ride, so happy that I just push the bike down the hill that's the hill that's the lake and that's the new trail let's go not very good at those off-road segments but them they are fun yeah I guess that's that's why I have a gravel bike Climb bell difficult, but damn, it's worth it. I'm still Italian. I think that's not me. I have a travel bike. This time, that time, the lunch break perfectly. I feel great now. I'm halfway through, and I think most of the climbing is done. I, I should be now in the, at the highest point of my trip, so it might be very pleasant to continue. Cheers.
I mean, I can. Forty kilometers to go, and uh, about three hundred meters to to climb yet. I just had to repair one of my panniers because with all the vibration it just fell off. Uh, fell off. It just fell off. I'm uh, very tired, but I'm almost there, so I should not give up. I'm almost done, 30, 30 kilometers to go. And I think just one more climb. That climb is the Kauberg. Famous climb at the end of the Amstel race. I tried to do it last year after a ride of a uh, hundred and something kilometers. So the first time that I was climbing with a much worse bike and I couldn't. Ah, I guess it's personal and uh, I hope this time I can do it. Otherwise I just push the bike, who cares? <laughs> Hell yes, 360 kilometers after I do the fight, the damn coward. Now I'm human again. Kauberg has a 14% maximum slope. At the end of the Amstel Gold race is typically where there is the winning attack. This year was Mathieu van der Poel, as you saw from what was written on the ground. I did have one tenth of their speed, but I did it. Oh, 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 oh,